The hip joint mostly looks like this. So we have a femoral step which gets into the femur of our bone, followed by a, fem a femoral ball, which the ball it's, it basically makes the ball and socket joint, followed by a liner, and then a metal backing on top of it. So it's either this particular femoral stem can be inserted like a snug fit, or it can also be cemented along with some cement called polymethyl methacrylate. But this cement actually loosens out with time, and it requires a revision surgery. So to obviate that or to circumvent that, now this particular femoral stem is always coated with a hydroxypatite coating. And this hydroxypatite is same appetite which is found in our natural bone and teeth. So that allows it to bond biologically with the bone cells and it retains that integrity especially at the interface. Apart from that, if we want to enhance the particular life then we would like this either implant if it is for a younger person would like this implant to degrade naturally and natural cells should be able to replace it. But that's more or less not the case especially for those who are in their late 40s, 50s and they would like to go for an implant especially after it has been damaged like in car accident and explosions or anything else or even due to old age. So in that case we would like this implant to remain for lifetime. So to uh, assist that this implant is coated with hydroxypatite along with some adding more functionality to it like adding more porosity which allows the bone ingrowth also adding some antibacterial agents to avoid any infection during the time of surgery so that enhances the functionality of the material and additionally it, we are also trying to add cerium oxide which is an antioxidant and antioxidant is actually required whenever there is a wound or a surgery that antioxidant actually starts killing the wound area tries to heal the nearby area to avoid any infection but they are also in the process also starts killing the natural cell. So by adding this antioxidant which is also found in our fruit in fruits. So that can actually take up this reactive oxygen species and enhance the healing of a person. So the healing times can be shortened. Uh, what I am also focusing on in Swarna Jayanti Fellowship is to play with porosity at different length scales. Because porosity allows all the nutrients to get into the region. Allow the cells to heal very very naturally. So we require a very very, very big size of porosity. Also content has to be more than 40 to 70 percent. So that is the overall domain to play with multifunctionality, to add more features to it, playing with porosity, antioxidant, antibacterial efficacy of this particular implant. So the healing can be very very fast.